Hi, it's me again, Adam from Dynamic Heating. So we've had a call again of the same customer that we came a few weeks ago about a loss of pressure, F22. She's now told us that the pressure is going down pretty much every two days. She can't see any leaks. She's having to top the pressure up all the time. So what we do now, we do a simple check as an engineer. And what we do, we turn the boiler on. We put the boiler on full power on the heating and we watch to see if the pressure gauge rises. If it does rise, it's a simple, simple test. If it does rise, we know it's one thing and it's the expansion vessel inside the boiler here. Now this is a really common fault that we get called to daily, weekly, monthly. We're out there changing these all the time. It's a simple job. It's, a, it's, it's an easy job to do. Only on the valiance, the Worcesters are a lot more tricky because they're up on the back of behind the boiler here. So what I'm gonna do is quickly show you what I'm talking about. Inside this valiant here, it's a sealed unit, so it needs to expand and contract. And this is what this does. They go all the time. So what's happening, this is filling with water and it's making the heating, when it heats up, it's making it expand. So therefore the pressure is gonna rise and you're gonna see it go up to three to 3.5 bar. And when it cools down, it contracts and it goes down and you lose the water. Therefore you lose pressure and it goes down to below one bar and you find yourself continually fill it up. You do get tricked sometimes, you think you've got a leak. This isn't the case. If you do see water underneath radiators or around pipe work, then you have a leak. But right now, we know it's this vessel. Now, you can, if you catch it early, we can come along and we can pump the vessel back up. But most of the time, it's too late. It needs to be replaced. When we replace the vessel, we also replace what we call the pressure relief valve, which is here. Again, on this unit, it's a simple job. So we fit a new vessel, new PRV, top the pressure back up for you. That should combat the problem and away you go.